Hey guys, it's Carl. So these are some of the best apps that you can check out for the new year and because I've used them obviously for all of 2022. So if you're getting a new device or if you're just looking to rock some new apps for the new year, these are the ones to check out. So if we quickly scroll through, I guess my phone, you can see the first page just being my home screen, super clean. I actually have an icon pack that I made close to two years ago though, but even with the latest iOS update, I find that it's even quicker. So I'll leave a link. I know that they're a bit dated, so I will put them on discount for you. I've got whiteout icons, I've got black ones, as well as the bottom, which you see, of course, to keep it classic in orange. So a bunch of you have downloaded, a bunch of you like it. Uh, I haven't updated them for some of the new icons, but uh, if you do wanna check those out, much appreciated. Going on to the main first app that I've used, and shout out to Turo for sponsoring uh, this episode, it's the Turo app. So if you haven't heard of them, it's essentially the best place to book a car from people that actually own them. So different than your traditional car booking. And you get the benefits of not having to wait around a checking counter to wait for a car. You can choose from thousands of different vehicles all around the city that you're in. So you can go all the way from a Mini Cooper to something like an electric car, which I rented. Just testing out the Model X for the first time, the Tesla, just to see what the Gullwing doors were about, just to see what the steering yoke was all around. And I'm not completely sold on the yoke steering wheel just yet, but uh, great to actually just test that out in person. And I know that during the holidays, visiting uh, friends and family, renting a car can be stressful. So just using Turo makes it super simple. I've used them actually when I was out in Hawaii to uh, drive around the island. Vehicles are available in so many different places. And like I said, the range in vehicles from electric ones all the way to, if you're looking to uh, drive a stick shift car, they definitely have them. So definitely Turo is something to check out. And I'll leave a link in my description so you can book your own dream car through Turo. Keeping on the travel game, so my second app, this kind of applies if you're Canadian or wherever you are in the world, you're watching this, get on your local airline app. Just because I've traveled, I think this year, if I quickly check, if I head on over to Air Canada, I have traveled 138,000 miles this year. That's just with Air Canada, and I've traveled obviously other airlines, but collecting points, being a valued member of your specific airline, I actually flew to the World Cup for free with my aeroplane points. So if you are traveling a lot, I know that it's opened up this year, just make sure that you're traveling in the right place um, using the sort of app that um, corresponds to your uh, mileage choice. The third app, which we'll check out is Zucasa. So with the real estate market really cooling off this year, it could be potentially a good time to kind of buy. So Zucasa kind of checks out the average price of homes in that area, kind of compares them over time. You can actually see what has sold in the past and you can see what is currently listed. So just I'm always on my eye on the real estate market uh, depending on what area that I'm in, more so out of curiosity. So I think Zucasa is a great place to start. And speaking of real estate, I think a lot of you know that uh, the house that we are currently building is around halfway in progress. We're aiming for uh, the end, or I guess September-ish of 2023 for completion. The next app that I wanna showcase is SketchUp, where I actually design a lot of the house inspiration um, myself, actually. So SketchUp is essentially a 3D modeling software, which you can use on app or say on software on your computer, and it's completely free, which is dope. And you can see that I've designed or drawn out the current blueprints of the house that we're building. This is actually what app that I use to speak with my architect a lot, kind of going back and forth on ideas and kind of mapping out what I envision as, uh, you know, the perfect room or the perfect design for each house. I have no design background. I literally watched a couple YouTube videos on how to make SketchUp drawings and one once you kind of get into the app, it's uh, very addictive to start designing things. So definitely an app that I've used a ton this year, and I'll continue to do that until uh, the house is finished uh, next year. Moving on, we're switching on to social media apps. Obviously, I've got my social folder. The one that I use the most, I think you guys know, is probably um, Instagram, and maybe the second one being Lightroom. So I'll leave my uh, LUT that I use. I've created these little um, profile presets that I uh, think that a lot of you have asked about. If you're interested, I can uh, leave them as a download link, but I typically go through my uh, presets and apply them to all the photos that I shoot. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Moving on over to the next app, we'll switch to streaming services. So the one that I will give my nod to this year, I'm gonna go with Disney Plus. I know that there's so many to choose from, from uh, Crave to Netflix to Disney to Amazon Prime, but the show of the year for me was surprisingly Andor. I 
loved that Star Wars show. It was not really too Star Wars-y. You know, no mention of any Jedis. I don't even think there is a lightsaber scene, but because of the storyline, because of, uh, obviously I thought the cast was really good. Rogue One was actually one of my favorite Star Wars films and getting that in almost a bit of a, I guess, pre-sequel to what uh, Cassian, I'm not gonna spoil it, leads up to. I definitely thought uh, Andor was my favorite show of the year. I'm curious to hear uh, what your guys' show was. Quickly switching on over to another streaming app. So I know a lot of you were asking where I watched the World Cup. I was actually in Qatar, in Doha for the finals. Dope to be at the finals. Arguably the best World Cup finals, probably the best football match of all time. Super happy, super stoked that I was there. Almost speechless uh, for the experience. Um, yeah, you'll just have to watch us in my vids. Yeah, just couldn't believe the finals. Couldn't believe uh, what a roller coaster of emotions. Messi finally winning his World Cup. Is he the GOAT? I'm still a Ronaldo fan, but that's uh, a question for another video. But I watched most of the coverage on TSN. And for those wondering, EPL, I'm watching that over on the Fubo app. So that's kind of my streaming services. And the next app uh, is just quickly just. Um, speed test because I've been looking at so many different devices because I've been traveling I need to know if the internet is good enough to say upload content just downloading speed test you can see what the current internet connection is here so out of curiosity here in the studio we are rocking fiber we're getting around 520 megabits per second which is pretty pretty decent for Canada for Toronto actually Switching on over to the next app is an app called Splitwise. And this is actually great just for splitting current uh, receipts or splitting, uh, you know, what people owe you. So actually my buddy, Kate and I, who actually lives in this studio. So we kind of split the bill on uh, things like the internet, uh, like for example, uh, rent money. So from there, we can just add what's owing for the month and it's just easy to tally that up. Also great if you're out at a restaurant or if someone is paying for say a trip, just keeping tally of, you know, what you owe and people can kind of add their own separate invoices or their own separate purchases and it will give you a tally at the very end of what um, the breakdown should be of who owes what or if someone still has any money outstanding. So it's definitely useful and it's completely free. Switching on over to the next app, speaking of uh, I guess free stuff, so Kijiji, a great little marketplace app that uh, I like to go to. So some of the tech that we don't give away here in the studio, we end up uh, selling by the end of the year. I know that we donate a lot of stuff, but there are specific pieces like uh, PC components that uh, we sell at the end of the year. So usually just posting it on Kijiji. We like to deal with uh, local sales, so just kind of posting that up. So if any of you are trying to sell some stuff for the end of the year, or you're looking to do maybe a bit of spring cleaning into 2023, I think dealing in a local marketplace should be the first place to start before you switch to say, uh, somewhere like eBay. So definitely check that out. Kijiji's are being around forever. The next one, switching on over, sports related app. So this is called the Grint. So this is a fun one. Uh, if any of you are golfers out there, it's a great way to keep track of your handicap, great way to keep track of uh, any of the courses that you're playing at. So as an example, I was playing out in Dubai. I tracked some of my scores. I actually tracked for the very first time this year, I broke 100. That's how shit I am. You can just tell from uh, my golf golf score. You can also gauge the shot distance because it's based around GPS. So for any of you golfers, it was the sport that I took up during COVID. I'm still terrible, still a game to work on, but um, I do use the grid a lot when I go golfing. Kind of switching it off to another food ordering app. So this one is called Ritual. I know that a lot of people like uh, Uber Eats or if you're uh, in the US Post Notes, but I am someone that keeps an eye on budget and because the price of stuff has kind of ballooned in the past year, I still try to pick up my own food even if I am ordering. So Ritual is a great place to order from local restaurants and I guess the caveat, instead of getting it delivered, you just have to actually walk on over to pick it up. So still a great way to eat food out or have takeout food, you just uh, save on all those ridiculous uh, delivery fees and surcharges. So I definitely think Ritual is a place to um, look for food. And the last one, so for apps, for games overall, 2022, I actually did not play any mobile games. Maybe the only one that I touched on was Tiny Wings. And this game has been around literally forever on iOS. I've had this uh, for actually years. There's this one level that I still can't beat or still can't get by. And for those of you that know, it's for that score times 28 multiplier. You have to fly through the fourth island in fever mode, 
if you know what I'm saying you do. If you don't, you'll just have to play the game to figure it out. But super simple, super easy. It's a game that you can kind of pick up, play for 30 seconds, play for a minute and close it. And you can always just hop back into the game when you are done. But anyways, that is some of the best apps that I've been rocking over on my iPhone. I'm pretty sure those are available over on Android as well. Remember that icon pack is listed down below. And uh, thanks to Turo again, make sure you rent a car. If you are a fan of the yoke steering wheel, also let me know, I still cannot get over how weird it is to do like a three point turn or to fully rotate the wheel and there is nothing on top. Um, maybe just not a Tesla fanboy, but uh, I will catch the rest of you hopefully um, in one of my next episodes and hopefully new vids in uh, 2023. Peace.